Yeah, so our role here is uh, we turn it armed air security. So uh, as you see with the typhoon behind us, uh, we're, it's a, you know an air defence fighter aircraft, and what we are doing along with our Qatar and Miri Air Force partners, uh, flying a variety of platforms. Uh, is part of a multi-layered defence operation uh, of what is ultimately a civilian sporting event. So it's great to be part of that and if we continue to do our job well, most people won't know that we're here, certainly not overhead when, we're, when they're enjoying the games. So we started working uh, with the Qataris on this particular operation uh, over two years ago now, uh, working through the operational plan, uh, ensuring that everything was in place and, and working to the point that we've got today where we've got six nations, uh, a Qatari-led operation, uh, in place, uh, so it's been a significant amount of work uh, and this is the culmination of that work. There's nothing specific, uh, nothing specific at all. Um, sometimes we may have uh, an opportunistic uh, situation um, on the surface, and that's what we're doing. We're here supporting our Qatari friends to provide that presence so that we're all ready to deal with anything if it were to manifest. No, the tempo of our operations uh, are maintained throughout the event all the way to the, uh, to the final on the 18th. Uh, so we'll be working uh, for safety and security of all those attending uh, from the UK and everywhere else uh, around the world uh, and uh, we will maintain uh, that right to the end. Um, but yeah, the UK certainly has a pedigree in this kind of operation. People will uh, naturally think of uh, 2012 London Olympics which we play, in which we played a part and then un any other summits and, and, and so like as well as the more well-known international operations where we do perform um, different roles uh, and that's the beauty of the aeroplane that you see behind us that it's really flexible as a platform to be able to deliver a range of effects whether it's a we say a peacetime sporting event right up to the other end of operations. I think what we've proved here is that uh, when nations work together uh, for an event like this that uh, security is enhanced uh, and so we would look to, uh, to achieve that in, in future uh, events like this uh, together as a team. Of course I believe it's helping us militarily not, not just the World Cup but in general as the world you know is evolving and uh, threats are evolving as well, you know, over the past 10 years and even before the World Cup, we've had global security partners of which we uh, acquire uh, military uh, assets, uh, equipment, and as well as training for our security personnel. So it's not only for the World Cup, it's for a long-term strategy uh, over the next, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years. It's not, it's not only because of the World Cup, but uh, in general um, kind of evolution of the state of Qatar.